dies really early, mm -hmm. and the the change from Smash Bros. Ultimate has not been kind to this character. However, Void is still a very good player, so I would still <laughs> say that he is the favorite in this. I mean, I would as well. He's still number one in SoCal and still a very heavy advocate of this character in the first place. So game one, going on to town and city, and already we can see how just how much this character can do at low percent. Even these trades from Snake, they're going to play into Void's favor. Well, that's that's uh, true in some way. Uh, we're definitely seeing uh, Void managing to rack up more percent. But uh, she dies so early, and... and uh, uh, he needs to be careful because if he takes a lot of percent, it's, he could die to any spray. One of uh, <laughs> any spray, one of Snake's uh, explosives, or you know that up tilt kills super early. Yeah, so, but the fourth throw gets in there, gets him off stage. Only makes it back, gets the needles into the bouncing and the fish, and that's going to be the first kill for Void. That one guy already has stock disadvantage. That, and that's going to be so important for Void, being able to find those early kills, because she already had problems killing in the previous game, and now with the nerfs, it's even harder for her, for sure. Have to play around some of these grenades that that one guy is throwing out. Nikita is just going to be neutralized once again by Void's projectiles. Gets the drag down up air two in a row. Three in a row. Looking like Joker here. He really is. Void, of course, plays Joker as well, so... No stranger to that. Drag down into the S-Mash, almost killing. Not killing, but the bouncing fish is. Wow, just goes out there and swats him. Boy, so little percent taken and already steamrolling through that one guy at the moment, looking poised to make his appearance in top 16 winner side. Yeah, that fair is actually safe on shield for th this matchup for sure, and on a lot of other characters. It's, it's the frame data on that move is ridiculous. It is down on top of the platform, though, gets a big round. Speed up, but stuff out the dash pack as well, and now he has a back off stage. One of the bouncing fish to finish it all, but just gonna have to teleport back. It's back with the bear. Yeah, so a lot of what you can do on Snake Shield in, in, in terms of pressure, uh, you know, there's not a lot that Snake can do about it. But Snake, on the other hand, is able to just, uh, you know, his traps kill so much earlier against destroyed. And up air, t sealing it. Wow. Yeah, I wonder if that was Susty Eye there. It might have been. We didn't see the red splash screen there, but Void with a quick three stock nonetheless. Bad DI or not, he'll certainly take it. And that was just one sided from the very beginning. Definitely. It, it looked like one guy, I mean, wasn't even there. He put on, what, 51% on Void? And, uh, you know, Snake is a very good character at racking up percents just from you trying to come in or setting up those those traps, but he just wasn't able to do it because Void put on so much pressure. Indeed, Snake as a character is all, all about shutting your opponent out, and if a character is, you know, as seasoned and a competitor as seasoned as Void can get in, there's just nothing you can do. Yeah, I think also it's maybe that one guy, and I'm sure if I was in his situation as well, uh, he doesn't really know the setups to work out uh, to look out for for Sheik because nobody really plays this character, and Sheik has always been a kill setup kind of character. Absolutely. But gets the bouncing oh, nice. fish, falls out the jump. He's going to be sent off to the right. Snake is very heavy, so he will be able to avoid that, but he cannot avoid the F smash and void only five percent taken. Absolutely flying through this game too. He's looking so clean right now. He is. And uh, that F jump, <laughs> big for one guy, managed to land a hit on Void. I'm sure that's given him a little bit of confidence, but he has so much more to do to make this up. Okay, that grenade there going to get picked up by Void and uh, explode on him. Good dash attack to get him off stage. Around the up smash and down smash, so he is being very careful here with his off stage presence. Oh, hits the, what is that thing called? The Cypher. The Cypher and not the Snake. I, that, that might have taken the stock, actually. Might have, yeah. but of course the Cypher does have a certain percent threshold to break, and that might not do it there. Good grab with the grenade. That might get some damage onto him, but boy, with an up smash, and all of a sudden this could be, I don't want to call this too early, but this could be another three stock. Yeah, I don't know what Super was thinking there, trying to land on Void like that. That one guy has to get something going. Pulls down the grenade and has the C4 set up on the left side of the stage. 
and just this pressure coming out from Void is insane. Look at him hop around. Void is absolutely relentless right now. His combos are electric. Some of his groundwork is just so technical and perfect. And that one guy being on the receiving end of almost everything gets the bouncing fish onto the cypher as well. That's an early kill. And Void with another three stock, he's going to take it 2 0 and advance into Winterside Top 16. Yeah, those bouncing fish reads were crazy. I, I don't know. That one guy needed to start recovering.